What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Lauren Miller. I haven't made a makeup video in a long time, so I thought I would show you guys my everyday makeup look. Let's get started. I go in first with my color correcting primer in the color green, which will help reduce the redness around my under eyes and nose. I also apply it on any blemishes I have to help reduce the appearance of them. I always go in and blend it in with a damp beauty blender to help smoothen the product more thoroughly. You'll see me use my beauty blender throughout majority of the video. For foundation, I blended together Soft Honey and Classic Beige to give me a more natural tan. I take the product and I blend it all over my face and a little bit on my neck. I think a lot of people forget to bring their foundation down to their neck, which then will leave them with an uneven color between their neck and their face. This is such an important step. Don't forget to do it. I apply a lighter shade of concealer under my eyes, on my nose, chin, forehead, and above my lip to bring out a more natural glow and help frame my face. I really think this step also helps me appear more awake and this is one of my favorite steps to do. Fit Me's Loose Finishing Powder is honestly one of the best products I have ever bought. I have very oily skin, but once I apply this on my face, my makeup will last the entire day without looking oily. I used to not wear a loose finishing powder, and it has improved my makeup so much. I have been obsessing over Wet n Wild lately. First because it is cheap, but second because their products make my oily skin disappear, and third, it's cruelty free. I apply the concealer on my forehead, nose, and cheekbone and blend it out with my beauty blender and make sure I'm blending it out thoroughly into my hairline. Doing my eyebrows has become a lot easier because I have my eyebrows microbladed. Microbladed is a semi-permanent tattoo and so if I wanted them to fade away, I just wouldn't redo them in a year. But the process has become a lot easier and I am in love with them. And all I do now is I lightly go in with a brow pencil to fill them in and add a little bit more definition and shape. Other than that, they're pretty much good to go. I used Kylie Cosmetics Ultra Glow from the Vacation Bundle and applied it on my nose and cheekbones. It's very important to blend in a loose powder or you'll have streaks and it won't look natural. I love Kylie Cosmetics products, she is one of my favorite companies and I can't wait for her next 21st birthday bundle to come up. I love Colourpop's blush in the shade Excuse My French because it gives you a nice pinkish color looking like you got a little bit of color from the sun. I keep things very simple when it comes to eyeshadow. Nothing too fancy and nothing too plain Jane and boring. I typically like to choose a soft pink and apply it on the lid of my eye, followed by a highlight on the inner corner of my eye and the bridge of my brow. I've been obsessing over gloss lately because it's easy to apply, cute, and if you mess up it's easy to fix. The only issue is when the wind blows and my hair sticks to my lips, but I'll live. And there you guys have it, my everyday makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with me. I'll see you next time.